in this video i am going to tell you how my experience was i will show you my face after a month and you be the judge tell me what you think whether something happened or not and then i will tell you some of the habits the people with flawless skin all right there is nothing like perfect skin i am so grateful to have the skin that i have it is one that is not uh, troublesome in some way it has been uh, five minutes with my mask and i think it is time i go wash it off and then i come here tell you show you my face and at the same time tell you those tips that you can always try so i request you to hit my subscribe button if you like this kind of content i'll keep it real i'm very consistent mungu mbele so allow me go hit the shower and then i'll be back here to tell you all that So friends this is my face after a month you can see that and one thing you should notice that i don't use filters when i'm doing these kind of videos i only use uh i only trim my videos the only difference between me in person and what you're seeing is just the brightness because of the ring light so umeona this i feel something you guys i feel something my face that is what i was feeling like for the first day kuwashwa like uh vilumeona ni may describe sikwa na better way of explaining it and then the following day i didn't do it i i did it like three times a week where i could skip like a day so i could do it after every other day and the second day it was better i didn't feel it as it was the first day and the third day it was very minimal the fourth day i didn't feel it at all it was like applying soap or another thing so this is the face so tell me in the comment section whether you think it worked i think it did a lot i think it is very important i tell you what else i used so before that mask which i realized by the way in a clear in a control shine you see number three it controls shine before that i used nivea's perfect and radiant but this one i was using as a scrub the ganya i didn't use as a scrub sababu i can't tell you how many times i thought like i would wake up and i have things on my face i decided to do the ganya without complicating the whole situation so that if something backfires then i can be in a position to like point out what went wrong where because i am not a makeup or skin guru but one thing i know minimal is key so before the garnier i was doing the nivea perfect uh, and radiant minimally for just for controlling the shine and as a scrub this because i used to alternate this and my homemade flask scrub so any other thing that i have used all through is when i was doing the nivea i used uh this rose water i used this on my hands after the the whole day when i am doing the cleaning and everything so after my night shower i use this on my hands it is very kind i was also using it on my face after shower but during the one month cj to me kabisa because like i said i didn't want to complicate the whole situation so unaona ina karibia kuisha so i didn't buy another so that is what i was using before that so kawaida what i use is my sunscreen and it is usually with a moisturizer so if i don't have nivea i have always i will show you i will insert that picture
and by the time i was buying you see it's the kids there were no like the adult kind of um sunscreen so i went for this and it has been perfect see you put a sunburn or anything so this i use every day is my sunscreen of course protection from the sun and all that and as my moisturizer for the day so in the morning i shower and do this all right so at night this has been my night cream for the longest time that i can remember and because i know coconut oil can treat issues when it comes to your skin i used it kawaii every day just in case ganya messes me up i have like a savior to just hold me into place so this has been my yeah my night cream is kawaida so at some point nilikuwa nime run out of coconut oil because hiyo ni ajikoni by the way so when i buy it i have a small jar mali wana empty some na put some for the facial application so at some point i ran out of that that happens a lot sababu nitaleta mafuta ya jikoni so i scoop like two three uh spoon sabab what you need is just kidogo for your face and you're good so ikisha i usually go for another kitchen staple which is i have a jar actually hii ni jar ya alison uh, rose water <laughs> nagawa tena when i buy this goes to the kitchen and this comes to my bedroom so quickly always wash or clean your face every day now this is the point if you are not into makeup and stuff like that then you only need like a good soap for your face or a facial wash and you're good i trust my dove soap for my face this one so if you do makeup you know all those foundation whatever whatever things then you need to invest in a better stuff ya kutoa hizo vitu completely on your face and then after umezitoa then wash your face just apply a moisturizer for you, for the night na ikiwezekana ikuwe oil free but some things basic things like uh, olive oil coconut oil are still the best almond oil if you can make some carrot oil homemade the better so wash your face watu andunda mkitoka shughuli zenu just take those two minutes and clean your face before you sleep the more you sleep with his of it umejipaka the more you are going to uh, clog your pores the more you are going to have breakouts the more you are going to have situation so kazi yako itakuwa cover up after cover up after cover up so sort your situation by cleaning your face every night make it a habit and you never regret so if you have allergic reactions for example there are people who break out when they eat something me being one of those people dairy product when i overdo dairy product i am sure that i will get pimples uh, on my nose around my chin area and such so if you know you react over those things other people it is sugar other people it is shortening is or margarine or even meat or even eggs control those foods if you can't stop like me and milk we are best buddies so i am working on our situation our relationship so that it is healthy so <laughs> because there is no way i am stopping taking milk so i just control it and you can see my scars are healing and in a month's time or so i know i will be back to my skin hopefully this time round i don't overdo it again so just study your body know what causes what and yeah deal with it minimally ski you don't pick pimples never pick pimples just stop i know how annoying it is when it is there and it is starting to show signs of iso fluids in ataka kutoka and stuff like that the stuff that comes out it has the bacteria that causes all that so you spread it on the face and realize kuna tu pimples twingine tuna form that is why unaona you can you always have one pimple and before you know it kuna kengine hapo so when you're doing like this you're just transferring the bacteria from one point to the other so don't pick your pimple give it time let it mature 
and then when now you know it is ready everyone knows when the pimple is ready itakuwa hata imeanza ku show signs of leaking that whatever out then take a cotton wool iweke spirit and then press it until a white stuff comes out and then press that part again you won't get a scar you won't get nothing don't do this mistake here when i overdo maziwa and then i realize everything is going weird and now i start because the uh, pimples the allergy usually is all washer and that is the difference it is not like those other ones you get like kamoza and it is done so don't pick your pimples so another point is water make water your best friend hydrate all the time so um there is a lot of dynamics into this whether warm water cold water with juices or that of course it has changemena your lifestyle but whatever you do kunyo maji forget about the eight glasses or 10 or 12 kunyo maji kunyo maji kunyo maji one thing i tell you is when you get into a journey of taking a lot of water at first you will be a very regular customer to your water room so here on the expected especially if you start now you are a one two glass kind of a person and now you are doing eight or ten or three three liters or five liters and you will go to the toilet it up when you come and do the hobby or something but give it up to four days and you realize that your bladder can do magic every other thing is just getting used to a lot of water and you're good but now you have to train your body to just be consistent I think consistency is key in everything because if you do it today and fail to do it tomorrow the body like like kind of resets itself to where it was and now you lose the progress that you're making so if you want to achieve anything actually not even the water thing just be consistent in what you're doing so water 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 do water before you eat do water before after you eat after waking up uh keep water near your desk when you're working keep your water in your car when you're moving around to take your water but don't leave your water in the car and then continue consuming it so another thing is to scrub your face the only way you can get uh, dull skin is where there is accumulation of a lot of dead skin on your face or on your body so to just deal with that what you need to do is to scrub your face make scrubbing uh like routine all right don't overdo it because you overdo it utakuwa na hizo open pores just make sure that you scrub your face use very kind scrubs on your face don't just do stuff that is going to hurt your skin at the end of the day so be kind and when you're scrubbing not like it's some competition be gentle on your skin when you're scrubbing it then let us talk about makeup if you decide that you want to do all the colors of the rainbow on your face perfect that is what you want that is what everybody should respect that is what makes you happy that is what makes you feel like you look better and you feel better then go for it but don't do a mistake of going for the cheap stuff i want to say cheap but i want to say things that are not quality because those are two different things some things you can buy a brand that sells very very expensively now ni ni brand so if you are in a journey to do makeup to use makeup as part of who you want to be then take time due diligence is key research about the products that you want to use and just make sure that you go for something that is not going to make you regret Again, when you want to change a product, just give yourself time. Uh, go off what you're using. And then get the new product. Try it. Kwa inner thigh yako. Inner thighs are like very sensitive. Uh, usually like your facial skin. If you don't react, if you don't uh, wash, if you don't do anything weird, then... You can go on to try i know it is a problem with us ladies whereby we just find out someone is trying this and you are there people have different skin types people have living very different lifestyles 
and all those things in a contribute to what you are using and what will happen to your skin at the end of the day so but again if something is working for you curiosity in your name <laughs> you are what you eat simple and clear so utumie mount million uh brands that are costing i don't know an arm and a leg utumie nini if your lifestyle is not healthy it is going to show on your face it is going to show in terms of dehydrated skin it is going to show in terms of fine lines before your time of having them it is going to show in terms of rash uh spots like my skin because of taking what i know i should limit it is going to show in so many ways take care of your body from within a good body a good skin is an indication of how much you are investing into your skin so as as much as the topical uh products are very key be mindful about what you put into your body you know what you're supposed to do you know smoking is not good for your skin you know uh, a lot of alcohol is causing dehydration issues to your skin you know that fast food is going to cause acne and those other things on your face so you know a lot of salt is going to cause uh, water retention on your face and then you're going to look like you have chubby cheeks while in real sense you don't have chubby cheeks so you are what you eat definitely so take care of your skin from the inside and then apply whatever that you think works for you story i could change bed sheets uh, on christmas eve this year bed sheets change as often as you can the pillows the more you use dirty pillows unazi change after a week after a month on your birthdays he or she trend poor if you want to uh, eliminate face issues so change your beddings as often as you can sawa this takes me to another point that i forgot and it just ran into my mind you don't need mawe ya kusugua face yako <laughs> or those hard harsh or oh, a towel can never be hard right i get it but harsh like rough uh shower gloves that people use you don't need that for your face your face skin is very delicate osha mkono zako vizuri when they are clean apply whatever that you wash your face with and just gently scrub your face with your hands and you're good if you need anything else for your skin for your face that is use a very soft shower towel or face towel or a scrubbing towel whatever that you want to call it so gentle 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 so thank you so much for being here that is the video in short my experience with gania and the practices that really help when it comes to keeping a healthy uh face and skin in general uh, i appreciate you so much i hope you come back again if you have not subscribed i am sure in the four categories that i am doing the videos you can't lack something to just keep you here so please come back please subscribe i'll see you remember it is mondays wednesdays and saturdays you don't need a bell sababu it is 1 p.m nairobi time i'll see you then Go ahead.